हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द फिफ्थ ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ एंड्रॉयड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन टेस्टिंग इन आवर लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल वी कवर्ड व्यू मैचर्स एंड सा हाउ वी कैन असर्ट आवर व्यूज यूजिंग डिफरेंट व्यू मैचर्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्यूटोरियल वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन परफॉर्म असर्शंस ऑन द पेज लाइक टाइपिंग टेक्स्ट क्लिकिंग अ बटन और स्क्रोलिंग अप और डाउन और स्वाइपिंग लेफ्ट एंड राइट there are a lot of view actions that you can use and we will see few of them in this tutorial so let's get started so we'll use our existing expense manager app so what i want to do is i want to add some amount and expense type which is food and add this expense and it will add it to the today right in today's expenses you will see food 200 so that's what we want to automate in this particular tutorial right let's see how we can do this so first of all i will just uninstall the app so let's get started so the first thing that we'll do is we'll launch the activity right then we will enter some amount right so we will select the view that's the first part we select the amount which is the edit text box and then perform some view action and the view action is type text whatever string you give here that will be typed on this edit text right now we have entered our value and by default the first item selected in expense types is food so we don't have to any, do anything over there right so now what we have to do is we have to click our add expense button so for that we will select the add expense view right and then perform click view action on this right so what this will do is it will add the expense and it will switch to the today's expenses section right so now that we are on the today expense section we want to assert that we have successfully added the food 200 expense right so let's see how we can do that so tell says on view with text because there will be a text present saying food 200 right and we will check that this is displayed right so till now we have added expense and asserted that the expense is successfully added right so now as we saw that when we add the expense it switches to the today's expense section now we want to swipe back and again go to the add expense section right so let's see how we can do that so we have this view pager uh to try to get view pager right so view pager has this both fragments basically add new expense fragment and to today's expenses fragment we are on today's expenses fragment if we swipe right we should get our add new expense fragment right so let's see how we can do that we'll perform swipe right right if we swipe right it should go back to the add new expense section so let's see if this test runs and yeah i have run the test will compile and run the test to see okay it added the expense and swipe back to the add new expense section so our test is success awesome so what will happen if i run the test again right because we have already added 200 expense for food right so if i run the test again it will again try to add 200 and let's see what will happen in that case 
as you can see there are two food 200 text right there are two expenses related to food with the same amount and it fails saying matches multiple views in the hierarchy yes because there are two expenses of the same type food 200 so this is because we have already added one expense and it's only present in the apps database right so our each and every test should be resilient enough so that some other test doesn't break it right so we have to make sure when we add this expense we start from the clean state right so let's see how we can do that so for this how i have created a rule called data reset rule right so what it will do is before add running any test it will clear the database and set the data right and also after running the test it will clear the data right if you want to learn more about the JUnit rule I have pasted a link to my blog in the description below you can have a look at that so let's see how we can use this test tool and make our test clean again so what we have to do is add this rule public data reset rule call it data reset rule new data reset rule all right now what basically it does is before running any test it will create this instance and it will run the statement which says okay so this is the place where we actually run the test this is our test so before test we do something and after test we do something right so let's see how this will behave now if i run the test it should pass as it will clear the database before running the test there you go our test is clean because it cleared the data before running the test and it added just one expense right so there are a lot of other view matches sorry the view actions which are present so we use swipe right there is swipe left scroll up scroll down swipe down all these things are present type text right and also so if you see right press key press back there are a lot of them you can replace text double click single click clear the text there are a lot of them right you can make use all of these view actions for your tests right so that's all for this tutorial and for the upcoming tutorials please subscribe to my channel and also do like and share the video if you liked it I will see you in my next video. Thanks a lot.